And there's no one else to blame except you. Because you're here alone. You can't say he did this or he did that. It's all you. I was an old lady before I understood that. So what's good, homies? It's your man, Dr. BOA. You know, many times we talk about women becoming cat ladies and getting to that point in life where they're going to regret that decision to be the independent minded woman who don't need no man and all of that. And women really just take it with a grain of salt. They think we're just pretty much being haters and being dissatisfied with the fact that they can now do the things that men have always done, that they have the freedom to do those things. But as far as jealousy or hating or anything, we nothing could be further from the truth than that. The bottom line is, it's always older women who get to that point where they're basically losing their minds because they're bored and alone. Every now and then, there's an older woman who comes along, and most times she's already in cat lady status, like Eartha Kitt. But now the quintessential OG beauty queen, Diane Carroll, who has widely been defined as one of the most beautiful African-American women ever, has spoken on it. And while she still has her faculties about her, and she isn't living in this life of misery as Eartha Kitt was. She has tried to tell women that all of you strong, independent women, you will regret your decision to be such when you're old and alone. Let's take a listen to this video, man. We'll come back and chop it up on a real tip. And it's difficult to learn to live alone. It's difficult because I'm difficult. I'm not easy to live with. You know, you have three or four choices here that will give you a terrible day or a wonderful day. And there's no one else to blame except you. Because you're here alone. You can't say he did this or he did that. It's all you. And you don't seem to want to make yourself extremely happy the way you wanted other people to come along and make you extremely happy. Nobody can make you extremely happy, but you. I was an old lady before I understood that. It's refreshing to hear an older woman who is going to be honest with these women about the plight that they face if they continue to be this way. Now, this isn't something that, you know, we're going to rag women about it. We're going to give them a hard time about it. This is just honesty. And it's a shame that you notice she said she didn't figure this out until she was an old woman. And I promise you, someone told her that before some other older woman told her that. You know, the problem with this society is that young people don't listen to older people anymore. So you have all of these young men who are winding up in prison and in a graveyard. You have all of these young women who are winding up with all of these multiple children by all of these men who they didn't want and didn't want them because they won't listen to the advice of those who have already been down that road. So when you think about it, this is the best advice that any young woman could get. If you're an independent minded woman, yes, it is going to be fun. You're going to enjoy it when you're young. But when you're too old to reap the benefits of being strong and independent, because that is a young woman's game. The strong, independent mindset is a young woman's game. You can't be strong and independent when you get into your 60s and 70s. You know why? You can be independent, but you can't be that strong in your 60s and 70s. That's just the way it is. None of us, even as men, we can be strong, but we can't be as strong. And the thing is, if you're situated in a position where you take care of your money and all of that as a man, you're good. You understand what I'm saying? But the bottom line is when a woman gets to a certain point, all of that emotion she's been holding back and she's been wielding as a weapon and she's been putting in a box trying to keep it away, it's all going to flood out at one time. And you're going to be sitting thinking about all of those wonderful men that you let get by, that you thought didn't have value, that you thought had less value than you, and you will regret it. 
any woman I have ever known when I was a much younger man who had the independent mindset, guess what she is now? Married. Because the bottom line is, you're going to get to that point where you're not going to want to be alone. You're not going to want to be in bed every night by yourself. And you're not going to want to be out there just traipsing around dealing with different men. Because here's the thing. As you get older, the quality of men you're going to be able to deal with changes. Women of a certain age, I'm not going to deal with them. And many men feel the same way. So when you're 20, 25, 26, 27, 30, you have options that you're not going to have when you're 50 and 60. That's just the reality of it. So what happens is you end up getting into your 50s and you end up marrying a man that you wouldn't have married before. Because guess what happens? He becomes your best option. And that's just the way it is. He becomes your best option. And this may not mean anything to you women, but it means something to Diane Carroll. It means something to Eartha Kitt. It means something to all of these older women. You think Mary J. Blige is happy that now she's single and she's got to go out on the road and tour in order to take care of herself? You think she's happy about that? Now, she may not be happy that she married the man she married, but the bottom line is, look at what happened. Mary didn't get married until she was a little bit older. The marrying age that men who are successful want a woman is between 20 and 30. When you pass that, then you start to get into that point where we have to start looking toward the future and have to start really considering menopause for you. You know, the older you get, the more complicated having a child becomes. And so if you're with a man and he wants children, any man who doesn't want children probably isn't going to marry you anyway. So I guess the bottom line is that when you get to a certain point in life, you got to accept the reality. So you can play around with the reality in your 20s, in your 30s, even some, some of you into your 40s. You can play around with the reality of life. But at a certain point, the reality of life is going to be all you have left. All the fantasy world, all the living like Cinderella, all the living single, all of that is going to be gone. And all you're going to be left with is the reality that you are too old to be living the life you're living. Running up in the club. Running up a ticket on OnlyFans, doing all of these types of things that you got away with when you were young, because here's what's going to happen. Father time and gravity are going to combine and they're going to change your prospects. They're going to change the way you view you, which means they're going to change the way you present you. There's a certain confidence you present yourself with when you're young that you're not going to present yourself with when you're in your 50s and 60s. That's just the way it is. Now, here's Diane Carroll. Beautiful woman. Still attractive now for her age. So when you look at Diane Carroll, you know she was a beauty queen when she was younger. You understand? Because she held on to the foundation of her beauty now. Yes, she's aged, but she's aged gracefully. And when you look at her and you say, here she is, considered one of the most beautiful women ever, who had her choice of men at one time in her life. And now she's sitting there alone and regretting the fact that she's alone. Because, you know, when you think about it, it gets to the point where you're not going to make that money like that anymore. Whatever profession you're in, you can be a nurse. A 60-year-old nurse is not going to be able to go out there and get it like she did when she was 25. It doesn't matter what your profession is. At a certain point, you're going to slow down in your profession. And you know what you're going to have on your hands? Time. And if you don't have any children and you don't have a man, you're going to be lost. And even if you do have children and they're adult children, you don't have a man, you're going to be lost. There is no happily single 60-year-old woman. Nowhere on the planet is there a happily single 60-year-old woman. Find her. Find her, tell her to email me, and I will interview her on the podcast, man. I will interview her because you're not going to find one because being single is not a happy position for a woman. Some women have enough money to give them some trinkets and treasures and play around and, and, and go and do things. But when it boils down to it, when they're at home at night alone in that bed, they know what single is. Why do you think single women drink all the wine? Because when they're at home, man, they got to drink their troubles away. Being single is not a fun game. For a woman. And to be perfectly honest with you, for most men, it's not, the, it's not the most exciting thing in the world. But the bottom line is, as men, you can always have access to at least some women that you would have been attracted to or wanted to have when you were younger. As long as you got your money right, you can always 
just have access. Now, I'm not saying, hey, man, if you want to pay, then pay. But I'm not saying you got to pay. But I'm saying if you got your money right, you can at least get the access. Now, how you handle the access is on you. But when it comes to being a single woman, there's an expiration date on being a single woman. And the problem is women in this society don't know what the expiration date is. They don't respect the fact that there's an expiration date. They don't accept the fact that there's an expiration date. And even though Diane Carroll, the great Diane Carroll, is here telling them right now that you're going to regret this, there are women who are going to hear this and say, that was the way it worked out for her. It's not going to work out for me. I'm talking about women who are not as attractive as her, even now, weren't certainly weren't attractive as her when, they, when she was younger, don't have the type of fame and notoriety that she has, and they're still going to say that was her story. Well, here's the thing. If it happened to her, what makes you think it won't happen to you? And you don't even have the type of money to live a lifestyle that can make you forget about it sometimes. See, all these miles that you're putting on your physicality, your mentality, your spirituality are going to come back and make it virtually impossible for you to pair bond with anyone. So the sad thing is some of you women are destined to be alone because you have been out here having so much fun and living such a wild and carefree life that you're not going to even be able to be who you need to be to be in a successful relationship. And right now in your younger years, I know you don't care. All you women in your 20s, I know I'm talking crazy to you right now. I mean, except for my shawty, but all you women in your 20s, I know you're looking at me. Hey, man, you don't know what he's talking about. If I'm going to listen to that older woman, I'm not going to listen to you either, B.O.A. Why am I going to listen to you, B.O.A.? You don't know that you ain't never been a woman, Daniel. Like, B.O.A., you don't know nothing. Okay, fine. I don't know nothing today. Wait about 20 years, and I bet you're going to be saying, Boy, I remember B.O.A. said this. I should have listened to that BOA Diane Carroll video, man, because it is true. Here I am alone. I ain't got nobody. And I promise you, I don't care how tough you think you are right now. Being 50, 60, alone, ain't got nobody. Got to be out there trying to date at 50. And do you know how hard the dating game is for a 50 and 60 year old woman? There is no dating game for a 50 and 60 year old woman. Think about it. Y'all comment down below and let me know what you think about this topic, man. I look forward to hearing what you men and women have to say. I'm out. Help us up, laid us down, it's the motto. Sims claiming that they pimps, but they not though. Alpha sub, laid us down, it's the motto. Suckers claiming to be players, but they not though. Alpha sub, laid us down, it's the motto. Tricks acting like they max, but they not though. Alpha sub, laid us down, it's the motto. Betas claiming to be alpha. I'm not gonna tell you, man, that you shouldn't value your woman at all. A woman does have value, but you can't overvalue her.